Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Archie. And we're in, where are we today? Um, we're in the Hungarian Army Museum. We're in Budapest, that's right, for the Hungarian Army Museum. There's a few nice cannons outside. Uh, we're going to go inside in a second. It's, I mean, I love the Austro-Hungarian era. Um, and Hungary in the Second World War. Actually, Hungarian history in general interests me. So I think this is going to be a bit of a treat for me. Archie's just going to have to be patient and bear with me. Um, first piece of advice, the entrance to the museum is this tiny door. Once you get inside, it's a massive museum. But if you're planning on visiting, I mean, I could barely find it. Having said that, there is a big red arrow pointing towards it. I should have found it sooner. Right, let's pop inside and see what goes on. Words for homeland and program. Productions cost because I'm sure the old ones are falling apart. Oh, I'm a bit in the tree. You've got to wonder a lot of that's got to be reproduction, sure. The Russians that were called in to. Hungarian emigres fighting in Italy. War of eighteen sixty six. Seals have been uh, Hungarian uniform there. Oh, the Hungarian guards. As you can see, if you like your Austro-Hungarian military history like I do, this is the place to be. It's a Skoda 37mm quick firing gun. We found pistols. What have we found? What have we found? Cool. Pistols. Yeah. I have no idea what they are. Oh, right. Are you more of a train guy? Yes, I've noticed. Austro Hungarian Navy. One of my special interests. Admittedly, not one of Archie's interests. Is <laughs> an anti-balloon gun. More importantly, this is a, um, a memorial uh, embroidery from a Hungarian sailor who served on the SMS Kaiserin Elizabeth in China during the Boxer Rebellion. Or actually, no, shortly afterwards. Thank you. 
the central powers and these are now Albanian affairs, I've never seen one of those before. First World War. Hungarian cavalry there. Artillery. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I've got my uh, trench scene. Seems very popular in ancient museums these days. Some sounds as well in the background. He's wearing his helmet backwards. Enough. I've seen photos of him doing that at the time. Oh, that's um, an Austrian, Austro Hungarian designed helmet. Down the is it? Oh, this is great. I'll say that's something I love here, they've got double-sided uh, display cases, so you see the back of the uniforms as well, which you don't see in many museums. They spent a lot of money in this place, it looks great. Italian Theatre of War. Pirates. A bit more Austrian Navy. A lot of Hungarians served in the Austro Hungarian Navy. Can't buy the display. Oh my goodness. Austrians in the First World War, Hungarians. And here's my favourite guy. I've been to this museum before. This wasn't on display before. This is um, from Austro-Hungarian forces in Palestine. First one being awarded Turkish medals. Galleries. Um, all through the corridors, just full of artwork. The Second World War artwork. Revolution 1919. Have you found your favourite part of the Hungarian Army Museum? What is it? <laughs> I wouldn't recommend coming to a museum purely for the cake usually, but this does look amazing. How is it? <laughs> Top. Collection of uniforms and the way they're displayed is absolutely incredible. I suppose it's quite obvious to say you're not going to find this anywhere else in the world, but. The helmet that survived the War of 1866 and got smashed in the Second World War. Side in the Second World War, and um, they allowed Polish refugees in, and they also um, supported the Finns against the Soviets. 
is um, Hungarian volunteers fighting on the Finnish side in the Winter War. I must say there's, um, there's a lot of information in both Hungarian and English. Some of the captions are only in Hungarian. That's not too bad. on the eastern front. Germans on the eastern front. Italians on the eastern front. Russians, of course. We found Kugelbartens before. Here's a Schwimmbart. It's a swimming car, right? Amphibious. Slav passes and is. Again, this is just the kind of uniforms you're just not going to find in Western European museums. Someone's been doing some great 135th scale modeling here. Now I'm trying to make a Hungarian panther at the moment. I haven't found any photos of the markings. Is that the real markings? One of their guessing as well. Okay, we're into um, post war Hungary now. Soviet era. Again, absolute ton of uniforms, insignia, weaponry. I'm showing you a small bit here, but you really have to come and see it if you've got any interest. It's amazing. Now we're on to the revolution in 1956. Here on the streets of Budapest. Different Warsaw Pact countries. East Germany, Bulgaria, Poland, Czechoslovakia. And here we have. for communism. They haven't got any large aeroplanes here or tanks, I don't think, unless they've missed a tank garden as always, but um, you can't see inside a MiG-21, that's pretty cool. This is a special exhibition. Um, the military history of Hungary in Playmobil figures. <laughs> I can't help but laugh at this. It's not what you usually see in military history museums, but quite fun all the same, isn't it? Don't have a, a tank garden. But, they do have an artillery courtyard, and at least it's open. This is uh, First World War, isn't it? 10.7 um, centimetre Austro-Hungarian. Also, you notice around the walls they've got memorials. A lovely big searchlight there, might come in handy. What's over here? What's over here? What are they hiding? Whoa, 
functions artillery. Look at this. What's this one? Don't recognise it. Oh, a 1915 10.4 centimetres. What is it with odd calibres? Lovely there. What have you found, Arch? A bird. A bird. <laughs> Let's go to the bird museum next, shall we, Arch? <laughs> it flew away. Yeah, that's the nature of birds. Um, the good thing about artillery is they don't usually fly away. Awesome guys. Unless you fire it. Yeah, then they kind of judder backwards a bit, especially if they don't have a recall system like that one. Mm. Or that one. Okay, that was uh, the Budapest Military History Museum, Hungarian Military History Museum. I think it's amazing. Uh, I've been there a few times before and they just keep expanding on it um, and making it better. Um, it's up on the castle hill in Old Buddha. What would you say, Arch? Marks out of ten? Um, in all honesty. Nine. Be honest. Nine? Really? I'd give it a nine. I think really you'd probably give it a three or four, wouldn't you? It's not your kind of thing. No. Should we go and find some trains then? Yeah. Come on then. Oh, I don't blame you. Absolutely incredible up here. And from the other side you can see Parliament buildings and everything. How's that, Arch? How's that? Isn't it okay? That was a bit of a bonus, wasn't it? I've seen the museum and what the old Hungarian soldiers used to do. That's the modern Hungarian army. Amazing parade.